2023 was the hottest year on record, and a new report on climate change includes a dire warning for the planet. Rising temperatures have resulted in record low sea ice in the Antarctic, while sea levels are rising twice as fast as they were two decades ago. And if the world continues on the same path, ocean levels could rise in America as much as seven feet by the year 2100. That's leading top climate scientists to combat the problem. The Biden administration is committing billions toward jump-starting a new carbon capture industry in America. CBS's Ben Tracy shows us two unique approaches to tackling the crisis. So this is where carbon goes to die? Exactly. This field in central Arkansas will soon be a graveyard for planet warming pollution. It's going into the ground and it will stay here forever. Barclay Rogers is CEO of Graphite, a startup that takes leftover material from timber and rice mills and locks away the carbon dioxide that plants naturally remove from the atmosphere by turning it into bricks, wrapping them up, and burying them in the ground. We're taking the carbon captured by plants and keeping it out of the atmosphere for a thousand years or more. So you got a lot of space here. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Graphite plans to turn this empty warehouse into the world's largest carbon removal facility, eventually removing 50,000 tons of CO2 per year. That's like taking 10,000 cars off the road. American Airlines is paying Graphite to offset some of the pollution from its flights. This brick of dead plants and trees is really going to be a solution? It's going to be a very big solution. To avoid the worst impacts of climate change, scientists say we need to stop burning fossil fuels and switch to cleaner forms of energy, but also need to remove billions of tons of carbon dioxide we've already put up into the atmosphere. It's not a nice to have anymore. This is a must have. Shashank Samala runs Heirloom Carbon. It just opened the nation's first commercial carbon capture plant in Central California. The automated facility stacks trays of limestone 40 feet high, allowing the rock to suck carbon dioxide from the air like a sponge. In nature, that takes months. Heirloom's technology does it in just days. Carbon that might have come out of somebody's tailpipe yeah. is now being sucked down into this. Yeah, exactly. Heirloom says its pilot plant removes just 1,000 tons of CO2 per year, but plans to build facilities that capture 1,000 times more. Carbon removal is often knocked for being too expensive, but given the climate crisis we now face, Samala says it's an essential part of the solution. We need to start turning back the clock on climate change. You know, what carbon removal offers us is the closest thing to a time machine. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Central California.